Hey guys, Clark and Warrior here. Today I'll be showing you how to get the diagnostic screen on an iPod Nano. This is the iPod Nano 3G. It also works on any version of the iPod Nano. Uh, there you see iPod. And you can see you flip video recorder. So it's the iPod Nano 3G. It also works on iPod Classics. Um, I'm assuming I don't have an iPod Classic. But it should work on any iPod that has the click wheel like that. So what you want to do is you want to hold both the center button and the menu button for about five seconds until it turns off and the screen goes blank. Then you want to hold the center button and the left button immediately after you turn uh, the screen goes blank. So I'll show you how to do that. And then a green screen should pop up. Um, uh, to control the diagnostic screen, there's going to be some options over here. Uh, you click the right to go down with the arrow and the left to go up. And then the menu button to go back. Um, there's so, it's been, uh, there's really like a lot of controlling things you can do with this um settings set the settings that you couldn't really do bef like that apple really wants you to do with the uh in the ipod um if you get stuck in one of them like i just did uh just keep clicking the center button and then it then it'll say at the bottom right here menu menu to continue you just click menu menu is like a back button here um it's so gonna go down one cool thing i don't know how you can use this but what you do is you go to lc uh yeah lcd uh color pattern and you can get all these cool color patterns i don't really know what you do with them um if you find out a way to like make them as a background or something like that, you know, post a comment. That would be nice. Um, you can change your backlight, like the light, like you can hardly see it there, and then you can change it. As you can see it getting brighter. Um, basically, if you have a problem with anything, just go to this page. Um, and you can find specs about it any your iPod or anything and then uh, to get out of this uh, the, I find the best way is to go back to the original menu um, by clicking menu a few times go to the second one called sleep and then hit OK it should say deep sleep so then the screen will go black or it will turn off and then to turn this back on you just hit menu and then the iPod should come on so that's how you get to the diagnostic screen on an iPod Nano or Classic.